going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. The day after the night before here, outside the Olympiakos Stadium for the player ratings. Uh, what did you make out of that game last night, Sim? Yeah, obviously you've got to be disappointed, you know, after being 2-0 up. And there's no bones about how we played. We didn't play well yesterday. But, you know, sometimes it's a difficult game and difficult conditions. It's a hard place to come. Very hot weather, you know. We're not used to that kind of uh, temperature playing in those conditions. So, a point at the end of the day in the Champions League is not the end of the world. So, you've got to have a little bit, a bit of perspective. I know people saying, oh, the perspective has been playing like this since February. And that's, you know, that's just carried on from that form. But it's a new season. you just got to look at it. In, in terms of this season and um, I think it's a decent point to take away from home and look there's a, there's a long way to go in this season and if we could have more performances like we did against Palace and yesterday then we'll have a good season. Is there a bit of perspective to look at thinking I know we dropped a two goal lead but at the end of the day a draw away from home in the Champions League is not a bad result at all and if you win your home games and draw your away games you're going to go through. Exactly I completely agree with that and uh, I think all this social media people mel having meltdowns and stuff it's just getting annoying and it's just it's just it's not how people should be wherever look people entitled to their opinions but it's just um, it doesn't do anything any good uh, panicking after one result and especially a result which at the end of the day is not an awful result so I think people just got to get a grip a bit and I think it's not a ter it's not a, the the result that everyone's saying it was I think and I, it, I think TV as well I'm I'm, I'm watching yeah. by Gary Lineker and like you know they're doing post match analysis he goes where does Pochettino go from here I'm like it was a draw away from home. Chill out. We didn't First lose. Game of the Champions exactly. League. Exactly. It's like they're acting like we're out of the Champions League. Like Poch is like exhausted all his options and that's it. We're done now. It's like, bloody hell, overreaction much. I mean, some of our signings haven't even played yet. Never mind uh, getting to the groove of things. But I, yeah. I, felt, I felt like the first 15 minutes of the game yesterday, Olympiakos were the better side. And when we scored, we scored against the run of play. But I thought we took control of that game yeah. after we scored. And we got that second goal in control of the game and then we give away a sloppy goal at the end of the first half reminiscent of that Arsenal game and then Olympiacos pretty much took control of the game from there yeah yeah this is pretty much what happened and um, look there's no excuses for how we were playing for most of the game yesterday and as Pochettino said they're um, they didn't stick to the plan and it, wa and it wasn't good enough and I, I agree with that but you can look throughout the season you can't play away every game I remember Liverpool, Liverpool won the Champions League last season they, and they went to Red Star and they lost 2-0 convincingly they were awful that day and they, they deserved to lose and it happens sometimes and uh, look we didn't lose did we? we we still got a draw we still got a point away from home which is a, a, a valuable point so we, we just got to take the point and move on yeah, obviously it's gutting to go 2-0 up and not win the game but anyway let's get, um, let's get on to the player ratings Hugo Lloris we gave him a 6 yeah Decent performance from him. I think he made a few good saves, but it didn't have to make. It wasn't a lot of their chances were like pot shots from like a long way out. They, if you look at the stats, they had a lot of shots on target, but they didn't have make a lot, a lot of clear cut chances. Um, so, you know, Hugo didn't have too many amazing saves to make, but what he did, he did well. I, he, it was it was a good performance. Yeah, he couldn't do much about the goals, and I think yeah. everything he was called upon he did all right so yeah. six fair for right at the end he nearly dropped the clanger yeah. right at the end now that, that put uh, that put my heart was on my mouth when he did that but other than that he was good davinson sanchez we gave a four right back again disappointing yeah. yeah um again he shouldn't be playing there again doesn't look comfortable on the ball again being out of position he was better probably than he was against arsenal but that's probably because he wasn't up against the so um I don't know why he continues to play him there. The one thing that perplexes me is that if Carl Walker Peters is not fit enough to start, why leave Aurier at home and bring Carl Walker Peters? That makes absolutely zero sense. Um, po Pochettino's got to take a bit of a liability for that one. Um, so that's a bit frustrating. I don't know why he continues to play Sanchez at right back. I know he said after the Arsenal game that he thought he played well. I was hoping he was just saying that to give him a bit of confidence and and uh, that he you know he's playing out of position. He didn't want to you know throw throw the bucket at him, but. I thought he um, he didn't play well again yesterday, and I don't want to see him at right back anymore. Please. Exactly. We said it after Arsenal. No more Sanchez at right back, and we're going to say it again. No more Sanchez at right back. Uh, ben Davis, we gave a four. Yeah, I thought. Look, it's his first start after injury, but it, you know you can't use that excuse when he's played a couple of games for Wales in the international break. So he's had that match fitness. Uh, he did get the run around from their number ten yesterday. I can't remember what his name is Ponce or something, Ponance or something like that. Scored the first goal. Yeah, the guy who scored the first goal. He kept getting caught out by him time after time again. Four might have even been a bit generous, but he did get an assist for Lucas's goal. So um, there's positives there. I thought on the ball he was okay. Um, I thought he there were times where he was pressing high up the pitch and winning the ball in their, in their half, which was good to see. 
um, it wasn't the best of Ben Davis defensively. He was getting quite high of the pitch time after time, and he was given a torrid time by that right winger. And it's um, it's a shame because it, again, it's a chance for him to stake his claim when Rose is being left at home, and obviously Pochettino trusts him. And uh, look, we all know Davis is a decent left back here, but um, he he's got to be better than he was yesterday. Uh, Jan Vertonghen, we gave a five. Yeah, sloppy, sloppy penalty. I thought he gave it. It was soft. I have seen it back. It was soft. I'm not. I still think it was a penalty yeah, though. Well, it was. It was a penalty, but it was soft. The player did go down very easily. But you know, you can't really make excuses when he goes through the back of him really stupidly. And um, I thought overall he was okay, but that penalty did cost us at the end of the day. And um, it was it was very frustrating. I think he did he did get let down by his fullbacks as well. Um, I think he he was left exposed by Ben Davis, and he kept having to come across, which leave left our defence quite exposed. But again, you've got to think about the amount of chances they had as well um, that inside the penalty area, which is far too many. And he's got to you know look himself for that. Yeah, he's had a bit of a sloppy start to the season, and we need to see improvements from Leanne, get back to his old self. Yeah. So Toby Adavaro, we gave a six, our best defender yet again. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he played really well most of the game. Um, he again, as as we Yamba Tong, and I thought he got exposed by his fullbacks. I thought he was covering for Sanchez a lot on that right hand side. Um, but but again, a lot of crosses were coming in the box, and they were having chances like on the volley in the six yard box, and not picking up their men is very frustrating. And I think Pochettino has got to look at something because our defence as a, as a unit just hasn't been the same for the past two years, and we need to get back to that defensive unit we used to have. It's moving on to Tongi and Dombele, we gave him a five. Yeah, I thought he was he was okay for most of the game, but um, I thought beginning of the game especially really really sloppy cave the ball away far too many times he looked like he was out of, out of sorts to be honest and um who, who was it on one of our friends said he looked like Moussa Dembele with learning difficulties yeah, yeah it was quite <laughs> funny um but I thought it was Tungi and Dembele he's got to settle into the side I think he's still got time look it was his first game for what three four weeks so it wasn't the easiest game to come back into but he did get taken off after what was it 65 minutes and I thought he had to go off because he kept giving the ball away too many times but there were flashes of moments he was breezing past players and um, setting up attacks going to the box especially in that period when um, we were dominating for that last half an hour of the half or last whatever 25 minutes of the first half I thought he did play really well but I think it was uh, not enough throughout the game. Yeah, like you said, he started off very poorly in the game, kept giving away the ball, kept losing the ball, and then he, he grew into the game, but it still wasn't good enough when he did grow into the game. Yeah. He needs to take control of that game like like uh, he's done before in the past. So, mo anyway. yeah, moving on to Harry Winks, yeah. we gave him a seven. Uh, I thought really good display from Harry Winks. Um, I thought he really controlled the game. I thought he, again, he carried on in, in his form from Crystal Palace, wasn't dawdling on the ball too much, was looking for those forward passes, was was sharp, um, was was getting forward a lot. I thought he was actually probably our best player or one of our best players throughout the game. Only player who really stood out in that midfield and actually had the composure to kind of get his foot on the ball and have uh, some accurate passing and setting up attacks. I was actually really happy with Harry Winks. Delhi Ali, we gave him a six. Yeah, first game back from injury, first start anyway from injury. Um, thought he did all right. Uh, you know, he had that chance in the second half to, to, to uh, score, forced to save out the keeper, but really, uh, upon looking back at it, should have squared it to Harry Kane. Harry Kane was free uh, on the other side. It could have been a tap in, so that's frustrating. They had some flashes again, flashes of brilliance that, that we know Delhi can have, but it was all too, uh, few and far between. It was, was his best performance by, by and large. But I thought he played okay, considering it was his uh, first game back, and hopefully we'll see more from him. It was nice to see him in a more attacking position. It was kind of out wide on the left. Um, he didn't have too many defensive responsibilities. I think I suited him quite a bit. But we obviously he, he's put in better performances. And Christian Eriksen, we gave a three. Yeah, shocking. Really, really shocking. Um, he really was like of all the bad performances he had last season there were quite a few this probably tops a lot in all honesty Bill's probably the worst performance he's had in his Spurs shirt everything he touches turned to shit really he, he kind of couldn't really get his foot on the ball his passing was absolutely atrocious the only thing that didn't stop him getting like a zero was that he tracked back quite a few times and he did win the ball back and I think you could kind of see in his face when him winning the ball when he was running back to win the ball he kind of knew he wasn't having a good game so he kind of had to track back to kind of make up for it and to be fair to me he did the, he did the dirty work quite well so you can't bash him that much but you know his display on the ball was absolutely atrocious you can't there's no hiding from it and he couldn't play a pass at all to anyone anytime he got anywhere near the final third it was just going to Olympic Arcos player there were so many opportunities that we had chances for breaks he kept screwing it up so many times and it's um look 
I, I don't know what to put your finger on it. People saying his heart's not in it. Maybe it was the heat. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was that. His the by and large is his performance has got to improve from uh, how how he played yesterday because yesterday was awful, awful, awful. He was. He was absolutely abysmal yesterday. And when you look back at it, if he was on song yesterday, we'd probably win the game. And if he was on song against Arsenal, the amount of times with Sonny was one on one with the keeper back then, we would have probably won that game as well. No, Arsenal played well. Well, when you look at it in the first half, Sonny was one-on-one -on -one with their defence so many times and Ericsson had the ball to slot it through to them and he was playing misplayed passes. Uh, he did play well that game, but if he would have stepped up and played those passes to Son, we would have been in and in time and time again in that first half. But anyway, moving on to the last but not least, Harry Kane. We gave him a seven. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he, he played decent as well. Um, I thought he obviously started his penalty away. At first look, I, I don't know if you've seen the vlog, I didn't think it was a penalty. But looking at it again, it actually was because the Olympiacos player kicked the ball into him. And then on the second phase, he kind of, yeah, he stuck his leg out and tripped him up. So it was a definite penalty there. Um, and it, obviously a great penalty from Harry Kane right through for the net. He had a few moments as well. He was a few really good dribbling moments, but he kind of felt like he was doing it all by himself. And, you know, if, if, if it wasn't for Lamella and Deli Ali's selfishness, kind of going for the shots instead of squaring it, he could have ended up with a hat trick at the end of the day. So he's probably really frustrated. And his comments off the end of the game are interesting and worrying all at the same time. And he's absolutely bang on. He said um, that uh, he understands why the manager's frustrated. He said that um, we're making the see well, He's now... The manager's been here six years and we're making the same mistakes in the sixth year as we did in the first year and we just got we could, we've got to learn from them and it's about time we he said we're not young anymore we're not inexperienced we've played big games there's no excuse anymore and he's 100 percent right and it, it you know it kind of smells of the fact of the worrying fact that you could be just getting fed up of all the, the constant mistakes and maybe might be looking for a move i don't know if that's jumping the gun but you know you look at harry kane he is one of the best strikers in world football at this current moment and he could play for any team and the fact that he's so committed to Spurs is uh, is um, it's a privilege for us. It's not something that should be expected of every player. And, you know, he could turn around in the summer and easily say, look, I've been here seven years or whatever. I've been here starting striker and I've played for so long. I haven't won anything. And it's about time, uh, we, you know, I go, go away and win something if we don't win anything. Do you year. blame him if he did that? I don't blame him. I wouldn't blame him at all. And that that would we suppose would have to have a hard look at themselves if he did do that because it, that that would kind of be culmination of all the, the, the you know having all these good players and not winning anything and it'll be you know that that would be a sad state of affairs if it would ever come to that um but harry harry has uh yeah look he's a great player and it's it, i understand his frustrations and you can see how frustrated he was because especially in that final 10 15 minutes how many times were we on the attack he was free with an open goal and nobody squared it to him yeah. i remember it with lamella with deli ali and i'm sure there was another one as well in there so he he was very frustrated because all they needed to do was square the ball to him he would have had an yeah. open goal Twice they went for the shot and took the um and we would have won the game um i said last but not least harry kane but it's actually last but not least lucas mora yeah. we gave him a seven yeah, I thought he had another bright display from him. He loves the Champions League. We know that. I thought he was our um, going forward. He was probably our brightest spark. Yeah. Um, I thought he looked like the most likely to make something happen. Um, he did die down a bit, I think, in the, in the second half when, um, like Spurs did. But I thought in that period when we were dominating, he was electric, and that goal he scored absolutely phenomenal. And we said it before that you know if you can add that those finishes to his game, there's there's really not many better. Pl better players with his kind of uh, dribbling skill set in in the Premier League or in Europe so he could really be lethal and he showed yesterday when he gets to those positions it, look how easy it was to breeze past one player and just get the shot off and he just needs to get that, those finishings really consistent and what a finish it was we know he has that in his locker. dynamite wasn't it really absolute dynamite and he's had a good start to the season and I think if he can you know get in, like he got 15 goals last season if he can get fifth, between 15 and 20 this season you know you can't ask for any more than that and he's well on his way to that so I'm pretty happy with Lucas Moore at the moment I thought he actually played out wide for most of it, although the goal came centrally. He did play out wide for a lot of the game. He had, I thought, whenever he took on the fullback, he had the beating of him. Just didn't didn't get the didn't get him in enough one-on-one -on -one situations. Um, but I thought he played really well. I was happy with his performance. Yeah, I echo those thoughts. I thought Lucas Moura was probably our best player yesterday, along with Harry Winks. Um, Pochettino. <sighs> it's a difficult one. Look, obviously. In hindsight, the selection, you could question it. Made, I know he made five changes. I'm not against him making five changes, but I think playing Sanchez at fullback, you've got to um, be uh, a bit disappointed with that. I For look, me, it's the right-back situation. Like, what the hell? I don't understand it at all. Like, why leave Aurier at home if Carl Walker-Peters isn't fit to play the game? I agree with that. Look, I do agree with that. I don't think the full-back uh, situation was why we didn't pick up the win. I, don't, I wouldn't blame it on that. 
I do think the most of the players that all played in the correct position have more competency. Players like Ben Davis, players like um, uh, Christian Eriksen. Uh, so I think they they take more of the brunt than Stavros and Sanchez, who by and large didn't play well right back, but wasn't really at fault for any of the goals or any of uh, any of that. So you can't. Yeah, play but it's a defensive unit as a collective. I agree with you. I agree with you completely. But I don't think it was. I don't think playing Sanchez right back is is what cost us. It was the players. It was, it was more the players playing in the other positions that cost us. So I wouldn't. Lay, lay the blame on that selection per se but you know obviously I, we didn't give him a rating I guess we'll give him like a 6 5 or 6 out 5 of, I'd say 5 out of 10 um, he did make a lot of changes uh, you know we made 5 changes from the weekend but you look I'm not against that. We have a squad. We have a strong squad. Look, look at the lineup we put out yesterday. That's a strong lineup. I don't care what anyone says. You, we could have we could have fielded that in any Premier League game, and uh, except for maybe Sanchez's right back. And don't think anyone would have batted an eye. You uh, filled that game at home against Olympiacos. You expect a landslide, not a landslide, but you expect a win. We should have won yesterday. We were tuning up and cruising uh, 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 when we were tuning up, and a sloppy goal uh, for, from the you know let, let let in from Davis, and and uh, all the momentum swings back Olympiacos' way, and. It's frustrating for, from that point of view, and Pochino blames the players for not sticking to the plan or not trusting the plan or, or not respecting the plan. That was his uh, terminology, and I, I, th I got a feel from him. I think the players kind of do have to take a bit, a bit of uh, culpability for the result yesterday and letting it, letting the lead slip like they did. And it's the second time in um, in a few weeks that we've done that, and you know, Pochino. Get, it's e I guess it's easier to fix a problem of being two 0 up and losing it than a lot like last season. Every game we seem to go behind early and then having to come back. So. I guess that the, in that sense, it's, uh, it's the, it's the problem is, is more solvable. So I guess you can look at it positively like that. But it's, um, I guess Pochino would just be really frustrated with this team yesterday. But I don't blame the selection. I really don't. I don't think that was why we lost. Or drew, sorry. Question marks over the subs. I thought uh, Sissoko came on. He was tr absolutely atrocious when he came on. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, but you got, again, I'm not going to blame Pochettino for that. Indombele had to come off because he was he kept giving the ball away. So who's going to come on? It's obviously going to be Moussa Sissoko. Who else is going to come on? And the fact that Sissoko played disaster class when he came on is not Pochettino's fault. That, that's just, you know, players have bad games and they have to take responsibility for their own performance. You can't just say, oh, I play badly. It's Poch's fault. It's Sissoko's fault. And Lamella came on. I thought he made a positive contribution for, uh, mostly. But, again didn't square it to Harry Kane when he had when he had the chance and that again these moments in these games these pivotal moments you know they're potentially match changing and they're making the wrong decisions these players Lamella like you said came on played well um, Son came on played well but Lucas Moura should not have gone off I don't know if he was injured or not but if he was not injured he should not have come off that game I don't know look Pochettino clearly felt like he had to come off. I, I, I thought he was tiring, to be fair. I did feel, I did see, that's what I saw in the game. Um, so whether he was injured or not, I can understand why uh, he took Lucas off. But um, he seems to not like to have Son and Lucas on the same pitch for some reason. I don't know why. Against Arsenal, he should, he should have uh, kept, uh, kept um, brought Lucas on. He didn't, and especially all that space in behind to count, he didn't do it. Um, this time, I know, I know we played Son and Lucas together up front quite a bit last season, but this season, Hassan, we haven't seen it yet. But look, I understand why he took Lucas off, and I thought, thought Son did play quite well when he came on, so whatever, as much as muchness. All right, so that's our player ratings. We move on to Leicester away this weekend, 12.30 Saturday. How are you feeling about that one? Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it, Leicester? They've had a decent start to the season, although they were pretty bad against United last game. Uh, they only lost 1-0, but it's going to be a tough game. really, really is. They've got a really good squad. Um, Brendan Rodgers has got them playing really well, so you got you can't... That's no, not going to be an easy three points at all, if uh, if even possible, because they're, they're such a good team. So um, you can't take that for granted at all. It's going to be a tough game, but hopefully more players get match fitness and we're going to have a strong team out on uh, on Saturday and go get the win. But it's not going to be easy at all. All right, so there you have it. That's our player ratings. Like, subscribe and comment below. Let us know what you think of our player ratings. And as always, come on, come on you Spurs. Come on, you